Hi, my name is Ken Wilder and I've been asked to speak with you about something that's very close to my heart. Uh, something that had been very close to my life for the last 20 years. Um, if you're listening to this, then you're probably already on the website, so you know it's Abilitat. Uh, I first became involved with Abilitat in 1980. Uh, I had a stupid drug problem. I had a lifestyle. I never had a job. I never worked. I, didn't, I had no ethics at all other than, like, let's party and get high. Uh, it was very destructive to me. Uh, um, until I found myself uh, just the bottom of the bottom, no money, uh, no, couldn't pay the rent, and I was a mess. Um, so I flew on out to uh, Honolulu. I put myself in this program. I had no idea what I was getting into, and the first thing that struck me about it was the fact that there was a bunch of other people just like me. Some uh, who'd been here just a couple of weeks, some had been here a couple of years. A lot of them worked for the program. And it struck me that all these people were, were we're doing what I, what I wanted to do, what I, what I wanted to do with my life. Um, Abilitat, it, it, it's really, it, people that have never been here, they really, it's hard for them to understand. Uh, as soon as you enter the program or get involved with the program, you're not in a program, you're, in, you're family. And you're treated like brothers and sisters. And you're protected like brothers and sisters. And you're taught like brothers and sisters. A lot of the people out there that are, that are not doing good, that are getting in trouble, that are taking drugs, they don't know how to stop and they don't, they don't see any opportunities to. And Abilitat is a right there, wide open, willing to help. Uh, Abilitat takes all kinds of people, rich, poor, old, young, old, young um, and it gives them an opportunity to get back on the right road. Uh, Abilitat can only, only put you there put you in the right direction. It's up to you as an individual to take what you've learned and, and do well with it. I, ha I went out when I first graduated the program in 1986. I did everything Abilitat told me to do. I, uh, and because of that, I ended up with a, a, a family. I ended up with a, a business. I ended up uh, feeling good about myself. And I had all the things that I had once thought was unattainable for me. And Abilitat gave me that opportunity. Um, unfortunately, uh, about 16 years after I graduated the program, I, I did something stupid, and I did exactly what Abilitat had told me not to do, and I went right back to my old lifestyle, and I lost everything. And I gave up. I was just, there was just nothing left for me. I, I was, you know, if I, if I couldn't do with what, with what Abilitat taught me, uh, I couldn't do it. So I was, you know, I wasn't planning to be alive. It's a long story, but all of a sudden I got the idea in my head, like, wait, hey, Abilitat's still there, why not go? So I was uh, um, detoxing at a detox ward in Baltimore, Johns Hopkins Hospital. Uh, I called up the program. I remembered the number. And sure enough, uh, the, the person in charge of the said, sure, Ken, they remember you. You were a pain in the ass. But you're welcome to come on back. And I did that. And that was, oh, about seven years ago. And again, the same thing happened. As soon as I came back on this facility, the first thing that went through my head is, Kenny, you're home again. And it was a great experience. The, the program was different. Uh, it had changed. It had moved on. It had progressed. Uh, uh, Vinnie Marino and Vicky Marino, who were my mentors back in the 80s, were no longer here. But their spirit is still here. And their teachings are still here. And the family is still here. And when, back in the 80s, Vinnie always said, you know, after I'm gone, this place will go on without me. And it has. It has gone on as strong get stronger every day. Uh, being older and being um, um, more set in my ways, I had a very difficult program, but there was nothing that was going to sway me. Uh, I, wanted, I wanted, see I had an advantage over the, some of the kids that come in here now, is that I knew what it's like to do this program and have it succeed and live a good life and live well with it. So I knew what was at the end of the tunnel for me, which was what really kept me going. I mean, I'm not going to tell you it was easy. The program is very difficult. So, you know, it, it's really been a good experience for me. It's, um, it's, it's my home, you know, and, I, and I, come down, I come back to the facility at least once a month, sometimes every two weeks. Um, it's been so long, I, I don't know half the people here. But again, they're the same people that were here when I was here. They all have the same problems. They all have the same hopes and dreams. They all have the same, um, you know, past. And, it, you know, it taps me in. It makes me feel at home. What's different about other programs is they give a shit. <laughs> that would be the main one, I would think. 
Uh, unfortunately or fortunately, uh, I've only been to one program and that's a bill attack. Uh, I hear a lot of stories. I've been to other programs that are like, you know, drug related, like uh, methadone programs, and I've been to counseling at the best uh, you know, hospital in the world, Johns Hopkins Hospital, and, and they, they, they were, it was a joke to me. They, they, did not, they didn't understand me. And, you know, a, a lot of programs are based, are based on, on the 12 steps. Abilitat doesn't, isn't based on 12 steps. Abilitat's based on, on pick, picking you up and getting you going. It, it's, uh, uh, it, it, uh, addiction is not a disease. Let's face it. You know, that's just an excuse. That's just, that, the only reason they call it a disease is so that they can get money from the insurance companies. Uh, Billetat doesn't. We're totally self-sufficient. Uh, we support ourselves. Uh, we have a lot of businesses, vocational training. When somebody leaves here, they are given all the skills to live a normal life and go out on their own. They don't always do it, but that they have the skills and they have the knowledge. <laughs> I'm alive. I can function in society. Uh, I'm not ashamed. I was just thinking the other day, I saw something that made me remember a, um, uh, a time when I, was, uh, when I was doing something, when I was getting drugs, and I looked at the person I was getting drugs from, and I said to myself, what am I, what am I doing in this situation? Why, well, how can I be in the same room with this person? The person was like, oh my God, it was just like, you just, it was somebody that I would have never related to in a normal life. And I was embarrassed to even say that I was there. I won't even tell you, you know, the details of it because that's how, you know, how degrading it was. Habilitat, like I said, gives you the skills to go out and get a job. It teaches you how to interview. It teaches you how to, how to work. It, you, when you, after you're here for six months, you're given a job. You're given a responsibility. And like I said earlier, a lot of, these pe a lot of people in here have never had a job. So they don't know how to work. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities here, whether it's... Uh, uh, whether it's sitting up at a desk and, and getting products uh, donated to the program or talking to outside people about the program. There's opportunities here to learn sales, to learn administration, to learn uh, 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 physical skills, in the, uh, whether it's uh, plumbing, uh, gardening, uh, uh, maintenance, uh, building. I mean, we have any, we're open to anything. And if you come in with a skill that, that, is, that is viable, and you want to, later in the program, use it uh, uh, to help support the program, more power to you. You can set up your own department. There's all kinds of opportunities here, and that's, that's the backbone to it. So many of these other programs, they don't teach you how to survive in the real world. They, they concentrate on your addiction, on, on your thinking. Um, but a lot of times, I think they miss the, the, the fact that, you know, when you walk out of the program, you're back in the real world. And you need skills to feel good in the real world. And you need um, an attitude that will survive. When you, when you walk out of here just because you're not taking the drugs and, you're, and you walk out of here without the skills to find other things to replace the drugs, um, you're going to go right back. You know, Billitech gives you so much power. You don't really have a lot of, I didn't have a lot of fears. Uh, I felt that if I finished this program, I could pretty much do anything. Um, Finding a job was tough when I first graduated. Now I have two and been employed very well, and uh, I like both my jobs. Um, I guess the financial part is very serious to me. I, I'm older. I'm in my 60s, uh, one of the oldest graduates. And I, uh, I guess I was, wasn't sure that I'd even be able to get a job at my age, but that, that, wasn't really, that wasn't really a big struggle. I was pretty confident in that area. Uh, I believe with what Abilita teaches you, if you follow, you just follow the simple rules, you find a job. And um, it's just the whole financial thing is getting myself back on my feet again. I mean, you know, I, one time I had, you know, a business, I'm of my own, family, house, stuff like that. So all of a sudden I'm walking down here with really pennies in my pocket and I had to go out and get a life. Uh, Abilita was very supportive of uh, financially and emotionally uh, after you graduate. Um, and so I really didn't have a lot of fears. I'm pretty fearless. I mean, I, I do a lot of things. I run around a lot. Uh, I'll put myself um, in um, any situation. I, I love to go out. I love to, you know, I go to restaurants. I go to theater. I, do, you know, I keep myself really busy. I like to cook. So no, I'm, then I didn't have a lot of fears. Uh, my, my, my thing is that a, that a drug addict, if they go, if they're clean and they decide to get high again, it's not because they walked down the wrong street or they, or they uh, uh, um, saw something that made them remind them of drugs. They made a conscious decision to go out and get high again.